Hello students, today I am going to teach you a very important and interesting chapter, chapter 4 quadratic equations. Topics to be covered in this chapter are introduction, solution of quadratic equation by factorization, solution of quadratic equation by completing the squares and nature of roots. Now what does quadratic equation actually mean? A quadratic equation is an equation of the second degree, meaning it contains at least one term that is squared. So, the standard form is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 with a, b and c being constants or you can say a is coefficient of x square, b is coefficient of x and c is any constant. So, it contains constants and coefficient of x square, x and any constant term or numerical coefficients and x is an unknown variable. What is x? x is an unknown variable. Here there is a rule. Rule is that the first constant a means this coefficient of x square cannot be a 0. Means what? If this will become 0, you are left with bx plus c and this will become a linear equation, not a quadratic equation. Now, what are the real life applications of quadratic equations? As you can see here, will it hit the hoop or not? This is the example of a quadratic equation. Is being able to find a quadratic equation? It is becoming a parabola. So, there are a lot of things around us where we can see the use of quadratic equations. Now, before we start with the chapter, let us recapitulate about polynomials. Suppose I have a polynomial as 4xy square plus 3x minus 8. Now, a polynomial can have constants, constants like 4 or you can say it is the coefficient of xy square. Variables, here there are two variables, x and y and exponents like 2 in y square. Here this is what? This is an exponent that can be combined using addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But you have to remember three things. No division by a variable. You cannot divide a polynomial by a variable means what? Suppose I have 4 x y square upon z. So, this will not a polynomial. A variable exponents can only be 0, 1, 2, 3 means what? They are whole numbers. They cannot be in the form of a fraction. You cannot write like this 2 by 3. So, this will not become a polynomial. And the third one is not an infinite number of terms means it must contain finite number of terms which are combined together by using addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Here I have one example 5xy square minus 3x plus 5y cube minus 3. 
is it a polynomial as you can see all the exponents 2 here I can say this is 1 this is 1 this is 3 so they are in the form of 0 1 2 3 these are terms 5 x y square 3 x 5 y cube and 3 and these are combined together by using subtraction and addition so it is a polynomial I have one more example 3 x y raised to the power minus 2 now you can rewrite this as 3 x upon y raised to the power 2 as I told you no division by a variable so this is not a polynomial here I have 2 upon x plus 2 so what is this it will become 2 x plus 2 raised to the power minus 1 again this is not in the form of 0 1 2 so this is not a polynomial now comes to degree of a polynomial the degree of a polynomial is the highest power of the variable in the polynomial expression highest power means what if I have a polynomial as 3 y raised to the power 5 plus 2 y raised to the power 2 plus 3 so here variable is y and I have two powers of y as one is 5 and another one is 2 so which one is the highest 5 so degree of this polynomial is what 5 because 5 is greater than 2 now comes to degree of a 0 polynomial a 0 polynomial is the one where all the coefficients are equal to 0 so the degree of the 0 polynomial 0 polynomial is either undefined you can say this is undefined or it is set equals to minus 1 suppose I have a constant value the value of 0 can be considered as a constant polynomial called the 0 polynomial now comes to degree of a constant polynomial so what will be the degree of the constant polynomial a constant polynomial is that whose value remains the same it contains no variables in a constant polynomial you will have no variable so the example of this is what px is equal to c suppose px is the poly polynomial so the degree of the constant polynomial is what c now types of polynomials based on its degree now every polynomial with a specific degree has been assigned a specific name as you can see the polynomial with degree 0 is what a constant polynomial polynomial with degree 1 is what a linear polynomial with degree 2 it's a quadratic polynomial and with the degree 3 it's a cubic polynomial now what about degree 4 it's a quadratic polynomial now comes to what is the degree of the quadratic polynomial a quadratic polynomial is a type of polynomial which has degree 2 so a quadratic polynomial has a degree of Two. suppose I have 3x square plus 4x plus 3 so this is a quadratic polynomial because the degree is 2 the highest power of the variable is 2 now let us try some examples given check whether the this equation x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5 is a quadratic equation now first of all we will consider the given equation as x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5 now 
we will solve the brackets first we will get x into 2x you will get 2x square x into 1 you will get plus x minus 3 into 2x you will get minus 6x and minus 3 into 1 you will get minus 3. Now what about this x into x you will get x square x into 5 you will get plus 5x. So by transposing x square and plus 5x to the left hand side you will get 2x square plus x minus 6x minus 3. Now this will become negative and this will also become negative. So minus x square minus 5x is equal to 0. So after solving you will get x square minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0. So the highest power of x in the equation is what? 2. So it is a quadratic equation. Now let us try few questions of exercise 4.1. Question number 1. Check whether the following are quadratic equations. First part x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. So we will consider this equation. We have x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. We will open this by using the identity a square plus b square plus 2ab. So what will you get? x square plus 1 square is what? 1 plus 2 into x into 1 is what? 2x. Now multiply 2 by x you will get 2x. 2 into minus 3 you will get minus 6. Again transposing 2x and minus 6 to the left hand side. What will you get? x square plus 2x plus 1 this will remain as it is. The sign of this will become negative and the sign of this will become positive. So you will get minus 2x plus 6 equal to 0. So after solving you will get x square plus 7 is equal to 0. As you can see here there is no term which contains the variable only x means what you can write this as 0 into x you will get 0 only. So x square plus 0x plus 7 is equal to 0. Again you can see that this is an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So the given equation is a quadratic equation. Next x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1. So we will consider this equation x plus 2 whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1. How you will open this bracket? By applying the identity a plus b whole cube which is what? a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b or you can rewrite this as a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. So you will get x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 which is equal to 2x into x square is what 2x cube and 2x into minus 1 is what minus 2x. Now transposing 2x cube and minus 2x to the left hand side you will get this will remain as it is. So you will get minus 2x cube plus 2x. After solving this you will get minus x cube plus 6x square plus 14x plus 8 equals to 0. Now this is negative you can convert this into positive. Simply multiply this equation by minus 1 you will get x cube the sign will change this will become negative again this will become negative and this will become negative. So this is not an equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c. So this is this equation is not a quadratic equation. Now next question 
represent the following situation in the form of quadratic equation. Now we have Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360. We would like to find Rohan's present age. So, we need to find Rohan's present age. So, let us consider the Rohan's present age as x. So, what will be the age of his mother? His mother's age is what? x plus 26 years because Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. So, after 3 years, Rohan's age will be x plus 3 years and his mother's age will be x plus 26 plus 3 years means what? x plus 29 years. Now, according to the condition, the product of their ages in years, 3 years from now will be 360. Means what? x plus 3 is Rohan's age and x plus 29 is Rohan's mother age. So, product of their ages is what? 360. Now, just open these brackets. x into x you will get x square x into 29 you will get plus 29x and 3 into x you will get 3x and 3 into 29 you will get 87 equals to 360. Now transposing 360 to the left hand side you will get x square plus 29x plus 3x plus 87 minus 360 sign will change equals to 0. So, you will get x square plus 32x minus 273 equals to 0. Thus, the required quadratic equation is x square plus 32x minus 273 equals to 0. Now, there are few questions for your home assignment. First one, check whether the following are quadratic equations. First part, x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equals to x minus 2 whole cube. Part 2, x square plus 3x plus 1 equals to x minus 2 whole square. Question number 2, represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. Part 1, the area of a rectangular plot is 528 meters square. The length of the plot in meters is one more than twice its breadth. We need to find the length and breadth of the plot. Now, let us quickly recapitulate what we have studied today. A quadratic equation in the variable x is the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 with a, b and c being constants or numerical coefficients and remember a is not equal to 0 and x is any unknown variable. I hope you have understood the concept of how to check whether the equation is a quadratic equation or not. Thank you.